you can perform optical analysis on the vessels, which is on a lithograph or any CAD files. To perform the optical analysis on the CAD file, you need to define the kinematics and the geometry. And then you could go to the UOT and optical analysis. You could also select a GPU accelerator to increase the computational speed if you have NVIDIA GPU. So here I select the CAD file and I generate a quick kinematic file and then I select the optical file to perform optical analysis. So click on either kinematic dome to create a kinematic on an analytical surface or on the CAD file. I select here the CAD file. I select the CAD file that I plan to perform kinematic analysis. I set the skins for my CAD file. And I generate a quick path on the CAD file. I make this plane toward the center. And then when you are adjusted the correct positions of the use a uh, auxiliary plate to define a path, you could uh, set the change the width of the control volume as you wish or change other uh, uh, dimensions and value of the control volume to generate this path. So uh, I also select the number of the divisions per trajectory to 1 and I decrease the number of the guidelines to uh, improve the performance to quickly uh, analyze the optical analysis. So when you are done, you could click on uh, accept the new path. It takes a couple of seconds until the geometry will be created like that. You could further uh, modify the path. And when you are finished, you could uh, set the laser positions. So change this toward that point, set the directions by a little bit zooming. So um, set the directions and um, here we go. Um, So when you are done, you could set the start and finish points for uh, finishing this analysis. Set the start. And set the finish. And then the uh, Uh, set a name so data will be saved and now you are uh, ready to go to the next step which is the uh, performing optical analysis uh, you could uh, go to UOT and uh, select the optical UOT analyzer it works based on the CPU and GPU if you select GPU accelerator, it works based on the GPU, which is faster. So click on it and select the file that you just generated. Uh, it was a carrot plate and this is a kinematic file that you just generated. 
And now, as you see, that uh, this uh, button cha changed to the calculate Q or T or uh, optical. So, uh, if you click on it, the optical analysis starts. Uh, you could also add the laser divergence. So, if you click on it, the divergence of the laser will be added. You could change the divergence field initializations and the laser distribution control. We don't do the laser divergence here, and uh, we just click on the calculate U or T optical. So when you click on it, uh, it starts, and then uh, yeah, it finished now. Uh, to check the output, you could go to the U or T and post processing optical. Click on it. Go to the analysis UOT and uh, directory that you just generated, carrot plate, and select the optical UOT. So you see, this is a geometry that you had, and these are the steps that you create. Select one of steps. Uh, and you will see that uh, the roller and, uh, and the objects are here. So you could go through different steps and you will see the total absorbed energy based on the total power. So as you see here, here we have the laser goes toward the substrate and uh, we have reflection toward the tape. And you see all of the interaction points. And the uh, uh, reflections. So the yellow lines are the uh, normal of the surface and the green lines are the rays coming from the source and the the red ones are the reflections. You could hide it and or delete the whole it, uh, delete the whole the objects from the scene. If you have also added tape back to the system, you could um, yeah, hide or show the tape back system. You could also change the laser power, for example, to 500 and see the, uh, the amount of the energy that is absorbed toward any object via this laser power. You could also uh, set the uh, laser intensity here, 0, 0 in uh, correspond to the uh, uniform distributions. But if you add it, for example, to the Gaussian distributions, go to, for example, other distributions you will see immediately the differences. Uh, to better understand uh, these uh, numbers of the uh, laser distribution you could go to the initializations and laser distribution control where you uh, found uh, the what is exactly this ID uh, stands for. You could also uh, change the transparency of the race transparency here with this slider. So if you go through each of the objects, you will see the tooltip which show us to guide you what is exactly this items stands for. So this is the basic uh, optical analysis that we've done here for this uh, uh, red plate. That you see here, you could also generate animation here if you click on it. Uh, it generates animations uh, and uh, uh, the animation will be saved on the directory.